Do you know the English words for toiletries? Wait, what are toiletries? Like a toilet and a tree? No, toiletries are things used for personal care, taking care of your hygiene and appearance. You probably already know words like shampoo for washing your hair and toothbrush for cleaning your teeth. And today you'll learn 20 more words for common toiletries. Hi, and welcome to the Espresso English Podcast, where you can improve your English in just a few minutes a day. My name is Shana, and I'm the teacher at Espresso English. Make sure to visit the website, EspressoEnglish.net, where you can get online courses and ebooks that will help you learn English even faster. Let's get started with today's lesson. When you expand your English vocabulary, then you can speak more fluently without having to stop and think, oh, what was that word again? Or checking Google Translate all the time. You can improve really fast inside my Vocabulary Builder courses because each one teaches you more than a thousand English words. Click on the link in the video or in the description to learn more and to join the Vocabulary Builder. A big part of personal hygiene is making sure you smell nice, so we have deodorant to put in your armpits. Most deodorants are also antiperspirants, which means they also help stop you from sweating. Then we have nice smelling products we can spray onto ourselves. Perfume for women and cologne for men. If you want to take care of your skin, you can use lotion or moisturizer. This helps stop your skin from drying out. Some lotions also smell nice, but if you want one without any smell at all, then look for unscented lotion. When the air is drying cold, this can also give you chapped lips when your lips are dry and peeling or cracking. So to prevent this and protect your lips, use lip balm, or some people call it chapstick, which is a common brand. To remove unwanted hair, you can use a razor. First, it's a good idea to put on shaving cream so that your skin doesn't get irritated. Another option is an electric clipper or electric shaver. And if you have just a couple individual hairs to remove, you can use tweezers. To cut your nails, use nail clippers and then a nail file to smooth down any rough spots. Women might use colorful nail polish. To clean your ears, we have cotton swabs, or some people call them Q-tips. In addition to brushing your teeth, you should also use dental floss to clean between them. And mouthwash can clean out your whole mouth and prevent bad breath. To keep your hair under control and keep it in place, you can use hairspray or hair gel. Women might use makeup. That's the general word for the category of cosmetic products for your face. There are so many words in this category, but some of the main ones are foundation, lipstick, eyeshadow, blush, and mascara. Finally, another good thing to have in your toiletry bag is a pack of tissues. Now you know lots of words for common toiletries in English, but there's so much more to learn inside my Vocabulary Builder courses, which cover lots and lots of topics in daily life. And the courses include not only lessons, but also quizzes and short answer exercises to help you practice. Thanks for joining me for this Vocabulary with Pictures lesson. I'll talk to you next time. If you want more great English lessons, visit EspressoEnglish.net where you can sign up by email to receive a free ebook with 500 plus real English phrases. You'll also find online courses to help you improve your English fast, even if you don't have much time to study. Keep practicing your English, and I hope you have a wonderful day.